up Raffleitos, welcome back to my channel. Today let's talk about banking. Let's talk about how to open an account in Guyana and which are the best banks to deposit your money at. Stay tuned. This is my, this is my, this is my day. I'm ready to take it on, come what may. So guys, this is a requested video from one of my followers, one of my subscribers, and I've been meaning to tackle this question for a while, but I'm finally going to make uh, the time to do it today. One of the subscribers wanted to know, how do you open a bank account in Guyana? What are the requirements for opening a bank account? And are those requirements different if you are a foreign citizen? So let me start by saying, yes, it's different if you are a foreign citizen. If you're a foreign citizen in Guyana, you are allowed to keep your money in foreign currency. You're allowed, if say you're an American citizen, you're allowed to keep US dollars in your account. You're allowed to have a US dollar bank account. But if you're a Guyanese citizen, you're not allowed to have a US dollar bank account. And yes, it's different in that you have foreign banks and you have local banks. You have local banks like GBTI, Guyana Bank for Trade and Industry, Demerara Bank, which is uh, owned by UC facade and then there is Citizens Bank which is uh, owned by Clifford Reese. The foreign banks are Scotia Bank which is a Canadian bank and Republic Bank which is a Trinidad Bank, Trinidad and Tobago Bank. So the difference is that the Guyanese banks tend to have better uh, customer service, they tend to be friendlier to local customers whereas the Foreign banks like Republic Bank and Scotia Bank tend to have more aggressive fees and tend to have a much more outward looking banking posture. So, in the interest of full disclosure, let me tell you that I don't have accounts at all of these banks, but when I came back to Guyana, I opened accounts at, at three banks. I opened an account at Scotia Bank, an account at Republic Bank, and re an account at Demerara Bank, which is a local bank. And of the three, Demerara Bank is the best bank for local banking and receiving currency from abroad, that is, wire transfers. Uh, uh, Scotiabank is the best bank for online banking, so they have a website that is really efficient and easy to use. And Republic Bank is the best bank for conducting international transactions like using Visa and MasterCard, making purchases online and having your Republic Bank Visa account, Visa card connected to say a PayPal uh, account so that you can move money directly between your PayPal account and your Republic Bank. So these are the ways in which I use these accounts. So I've had to close my account at Scotiabank because of fees. They implemented a minimum uh, deposit requirement and a penalty for overdrafts and so on that made it more expensive to bank than the trouble was worth. So although they had the best uh, online banking experience and website, I gave them up because it was becoming too expensive to keep an account there. So currently I only have an account at Demerara Bank, which is a local bank, and Republic Bank. So here are the questions. Question number one is what are the requirements for opening a bank account in Guyana? Well, there's usually a long list of requirements, but the three main ones are you need to have proof of address. So you need to have proof of a local address, which you can present in the form of a, a bill or a, a, a bill, so a utility bill that is in your name, or a letter that you received at that address. So you need to just show the envelope with the letter and showing that you received that at the, the address you um, submitting as your local address. Two is you need two forms of picture ID and three is you need a job letter to prove your source of income. So you need either a passport and a local, another form of ID like a local identification card or some other form of ID like a driver's license, picture ID like a driver's license. And then you need a job letter or you need some kind of uh, statement to prove that your um, income is legitimate. 
So those are the three requirements. Okay, so next let's talk about transaction fees. So all of the banks have ATM machines that allow you to do transactions uh, when the bank is closed. The opening hours uh, in Guyana are usually Monday to Friday from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. and 2.30 on Fridays. The banks are closed on weekends, so no banking on Saturday and Sunday, and there no bank, there's no banking on holidays. The ATM machines are accessible during the times when the banks are closed, as well as during the times when the banks are open. Their transaction fees in Guyana, a small amount of money is removed from your account for each time you uh, withdraw money from your account. So at Scotiabank, this was the highest, about $70, 70 Guyana dollars per transaction, per uh, withdrawal. At Republic Bank, the amount is about $45, used to be $35, it's about $45, and the amount at Demerara Bank is about $40, used to be, yeah, $40. So I don't have an account at GBTI so, uh, or Citizens Bank, but I'm assuming that the transaction fees will fall in the same range. Secondly, for me, what is important is wire transfers because I get money into, deposited into my account from abroad. And it turns out that the local banks tend to do the best job of this. If you bank with Demerara Bank and you're receiving wire transfers, there is a fee of about 200 Ghana dollars or one dollar US, which the bank charges for receiving transfers that are up to a thousand US dollars. After that, I think it goes up by a percentage of the transaction. At Republic Bank, where I've also received wire transfers, the transaction fee is $3,500. So you pay about $15 US to receive uh, money into your account, US dollars into your account, from a foreign uh, transaction, foreign transfer. And so naturally, if you are moving small amounts of money, then you want to go with a local bank such as Demerara Bank. Finally, let me talk about the central bank. So the Bank of Guyana is a central bank, but you're not allowed to open an account there. The central bank, that is the Bank of Guyana, is the bank where, you, where the regulations are done and where uh, permission, for example, if you're a businessman, is granted for you to have a foreign uh, exchange account. So if you are an exporter or an importer and you need to move large sums of money in foreign exchange out to or into the country, then you need permission from the central bank to open an account or to have an account in which you keep uh, international foreign currency. And uh, this is useful, for example, if you're importing uh, shipments of uh, commodities for sale. I hope this information is helpful. In the comments below, tell me what else you would like to know about banking in Guyana and let me know if uh, this information has been helpful. Later!